the instructions to fix this, but not the studs. Any ideas? Thanks a lot! <laughs> Even Superman has his limits. fall into the wrong hand. fall into the wrong hand. Mic's on, hair's good, ready to roll, Jimmy? Okay, Mike. This is Lois Lane, reporting for the Daily Planet. Devastation literally shook the streets of Metropolis as unknown circumstances saw our fair city bizarrely spliced with Gotham City. Join us as we take a closer look at the points of impact, hoping to uncover the truth behind this new partnership. Let's go, Jimmy. Gotham Zoo's Arctic world suffered an unexpected makeover when it was spliced with the famous Gotham Cathedral. To what end is still a mystery. This looks like a job, Force. Careful, Jimmy. I think I did a less than favorable interview with these guys a while back. <laughs> <laughs> LexCorp, office of wealthy entrepreneur Lex Luthor, seems to have survived the incident intact. Perhaps this implies some involvement from Luthor? We 
We now come live from Arkham Asylum, which is looking suspiciously low on inmates. Could they have taken advantage of the chaos and escaped? Jimmy, I think I did a less than favorable interview with these guys a while back. Could the waste spillages at Ace Chemicals be attributed to the recent disasters, or just poor health and safety protocols at the plant? The cities of Metropolis and Gotham are no strangers to unusual disasters. I mean, you remember that time everyone got turned into a pineapple, Jimmy? What a day! <laughs> <clears throat> but few catastrophes come close to what we've seen here today. Judging from the extent of the damage, it will likely take government officials a long time to return the two cities to normal. This is Lois Lane, reporting for the Daily Planet. fall into the wrong hands. You know, with a few extra studs, I could probably fix this up for you. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, might I trouble you for a moment? I was giving the bat computer its weekly spit and shine and couldn't help but notice the radar picking up a number of incoming hostile vehicles. Uh, I'm no expert, but if I were a caped crusader of any repute, I would be launching a full-scale defense on land, sea, and air. Uh, but frankly, there are sandwiches to be made, so I'll leave that to you.
to report that according to my rudimentary understanding of the machinery in here, the enemy threat has been dealt with. Excellent work. I shall prepare a victory sandwich and accompanying cup of tea in your honor. Oh, and I took the liberty of polishing this up for you. Let this fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> 